Hi, we're Pixie Woo. Welcome to Style Me Beautiful. Every week we're going to find um, a worthy nominee and we're going to do a big hair and makeup transformation on them. We are off to look at a video now and decide who that person's going to be. Let's take a look. Right, let's look at this one then, Nick. Uh, yeah. Hi everybody, my name is Ian and I'd like to nominate my partner Sarah for the surprise makeover. The reason why I nominated Sarah is I think it would be a huge confidence builder for her as she's only really been into makeup for the past year. I proposed to her back in the summer, she did say yes, so I'm hoping she'll be able to pick up lots of tips for our big day regarding what makeup suits her best. Also, she's a huge, huge Pixie Woo fan, so when she finds out about the surprise, I'm sure she's going to squeak and be very, very excited. Thanks for watching. Oh, oh Ian. He's we're going to have to do that because she's a pixie wee fan. <laughs> um, how exciting. So she's getting yeah. married. Love a bit of bridal makeup. Yeah, me too. But you should do this one. Yeah, yeah, I definitely want to do this. It'll be really nice. Um, I did Nick's makeup for her wedding last year, which was really good fun, wasn't it, Nick? Really good fun. Really good fun, yeah. Amazing we got through it, really. <laughs> the gin helped. Um, yeah, so a bit of glitter, some false lashes, I think, and uh, maybe a soft, glossy lip. Just hope she's up for that. I'm so looking forward to meeting them. I guess that's for you. Oh. <laughs> Wait, sit down. So, should we talk through some tips for mm, wedding definitely. and stuff? Are you going to yeah. do your own makeup? Do you know? I don't know. I've not really got the confidence really at the moment, but okay. that just makes perfect. Aww. Well, we'll have a little go today, and if you feel confident on the day, you can always copy this video, can't you? Mm. Okay, we're going to drag Ian off. Right. And, he's um, going to get made up as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's going to be waiting for you so we can get the big okay. reveal okay. later. Thank you. Come this way, Ian. <laughs> Okay, I am going to start with Illamasqua Skin Base. I'm going to work this in all over the skin. I'm using an expert face brush just to do that. The reason Sam's using an expert face brush is so she can get right in under the eyes and into any little area where she wants to blend. Now Sam's chosen to use a uh, skin base in a slightly pinkier undertone because Sarah's skin's got a slight pinkness to it. So she's gone for an O8 which has got a really nice pink tone to it rather than something that has a more yellow undertone. So you can see the difference and normally if you look at a foundation you can see the difference between obviously these are different shades but you're looking for the undertone as well. I have a little palette here, this one is from MAC. Um, this is a mix and match palette. And this is what we use for all brow types. I often start with Omega, which is my lightest colour, and then I might mix in something around here just to give me the depth where I need it. Just relax your forehead for me. There we go. Could I have a... Uh little mini mascara wand please just to brush through. You certainly can. There you go. I'm going to just tell you what's in this palette because we get asked all the time. In here we have Omega, Charcoal Brown, Mystery and Brun. Now because Sarah is getting married I'm trying to keep this. I mean she needs to have a bit of makeup because obviously it needs to be picked up in the camera but I want to keep it quite light as well. So Sarah you watch our videos, do you? Yeah, it was actually Ian that got me into sort of watching the two of you, and then after that, I sort of became addicted to. Oh, like, really? I think I've seen <laughs> probably every one. Really? There's about yeah. 500. Yes. 
Well, that's so a he's, lot of he's hours. watching rubbish on the telly, and I'm just with my iPad oh. <laughs> watching you. I watch Wayne Gossart is quite a lot. Oh, do you? And he Tanya. Is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I've got a really pretty little palette here. I'm probably going to use all of these, maybe even the light one. I haven't really decided. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this one here, which is patina, and I'm going to dust that all the way over the eyelid. Please, may I have a 217, Nicola? You certainly can. Now, this is actually my wedding palette. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. I used wow. it on my wedding day. Made especially for me. Really? Yes. yes. Okay, close your eyes for me. So just starting from the lashes and blending upwards. Up towards the brow, but we're stopping at the brow bone. Patina is such a beautiful colour, isn't it? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Especially for brides, because it's got that goldness to it, but it's not too goldy. Okay, I'm moving on to this lovely bronzy colour here. This is uh, Mulch from MAC. And we're going to work this from the outside lash line. Sam's going to use the Clean 217 just to... If there's any edges that need really buffing through, that's what she's going to use it for, just to clean up any anywhere where there may be a join and you just want it to softly blend through. The reason that she's chosen this brush is because it's tapered, so you can really, and it's a very, very soft, real hair brush, so you can really buff away softly any harsh lines. And it fits perfectly in the socket if you wanted to use it there as well. It's a very good brush. Just open your eyes for me. Great. Now I'm moving on to this black here. I'm using my same brush that I used on the brows earlier. Make sure, if you hear that clicking noise, that's me tapping out the product because you tend to find that on brushes like this, because they're very stiff, they pick up a lot of product and that product will also drop under the eyes if you don't tap it out. So I'm now intensifying the lash line. So just flicking a bit of black into it. So have you ever had your makeup done professionally before, Sarah? No. Never? No. Not even at a counter? Um, well, I guess so, but I don't, I don't sort of think of that as being professional. No. Okay. <laughs> Fair enough. Mac do a pretty good makeover service, I think. Yeah, I've often been tempted. Things I go into Mac and I, Mac and I just get confused because there's just so much Quite stuff. Quite overwhelming, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. That's why we're here. I know. We're the middleman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just taking a matte brown now, again tapping it off on my hand and I'm just running that through the socket with Sarah's eye open because I can see exactly where I want that product with the eye open. And what is this doing Sam, lifting it slightly? It's just giving me a little bit of colour through the socket so it just makes the eye bigger. You can also see that Sam has winged the eye out quite a bit, still looking natural and still using really soft colours, but winged it out just to open those eyes out a little bit more and make them look bigger. I'm just putting a bit of mascara on and then I'm going to drop some individual lashes in. I was going to say they look more fiddly than they are, but that's not true. They are quite fiddly, but if you practice with them you'll get used to it. So I'm just popping these in. And are you just oh, putting these on the edges, Sam? I think I am, yeah. Just to really give the eye a bit of a sweep. So Sam's going to follow the line, not quite to where the lashes end, but wing it up where she's brought the makeup so it still elongates those eyes. The great thing about individual lashes is, especially on a wedding, is that if you lose one, it's not the end of the world. Whereas with a full strip, if they come off, you're in dire straits, you know, because you're going to be left, it's going to kind of ruin your makeup. Lots of people can't wear a full strip all day. I can't. It makes my eyes very water in these middle bits here. So just by having lashes on the outer corners, I don't even notice I've got them there. And I had individuals on my wedding day as well. I know, I painstakingly applied them. <laughs> and then I applied yours. That's sisters for you. <laughs> yes. Okay, now I'm taking a little bit of my matte brown and I'm going to run that underneath the eye. Look up for me. I know that's how Sarah wears her makeup. And I don't want to take it too different, too out of the real realms of your comfort zone, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm using a champagne coloured eyeliner. Look up for me, just on the waterline. It's not going to do a massive amount. It's just going to wear, because it's reflective, it's pearlized. 
where the camera, where the light hits it, it gives a little bit of a reflection. So mm -hmm. uh, what it does do, it's this kind of greyish champagne colour, so it takes out the natural redness that we have mm -hmm. on the waterline. Yeah. So it gives a much more finished effect, um, but it isn't obvious in any way. Okay, now we need a bit of sparkle. Would you wear a bit of sparkle? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just put a little on. This is like magic fairy dust. MAC Reflex Pearl. Oh, wow. It's so beautiful. It does go everywhere. So I'm going to use a tiny bit of this. Do you close your eyes for me? And I'm just going to push it on top. Do you have to use a wet brush? Nope, you don't have to. I'm just using... Um, I'm using a dry brush. What I do is I just load one side of the brush up so that there's no point loading both sides mm -hmm. up only because one side's just going to fall under your eyes. So mm. you might as well just use just one side. Is that open? Okay, I'm just going to put a little bit of loose powder on just to take the shine off. I tend to use quite a small brush for powdering because I do my powdering after I've finished the whole look. So I like to go around the features. Whereas perhaps with a bigger brush, it's much harder to control where your powder goes. Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Natural One here. Let's just pop a little bit of that on the cheeks. I'm putting a little bit of highlighter on. This is Compact Shine On by Makeup Forever. Now, the great thing about a product like this is that you don't really see it unless there's light shining on you. So it only really comes into its own when the flash hits you. Mm -hmm. Can you get makeup forever in this country? You can. You can get it from Guru Makeup Emporium mm -hmm. and from preciousaboutmakeup.com. Mm -hmm. It is website only though. Yeah. Right, let's take a little bit of that black just under the eye look up for me. Because I know you like your liner. A bit of lip on you now. Is that a chubby stick? This is a chubby stick intense. Have you seen those? I've seen them. They're awesome. So one. intense. Oh, but wow. really comfy and nice for a wedding. Yeah. Because, you know, you don't get that horrible feeling, that sticky feeling that you get from glosses. Oh, which, I hate that. How are you going to have your hair? Are you having your hair down? Mm, prob possibly down, yeah, yeah. But if it's windy, I hate it when your, exactly. your hair sticks worst. to your lipstick. So I didn't say what this was actually. This is a Clinique Chubby Stick Intense in Broadest Berry. And I've got quite dark coloured lips anyway. You so. do, and you have such a lovely lip shape. So I'm avoiding lip liner because we're using quite a strong colour, but it is quite sheer. I don't want to make it more intense by putting a lip liner on. And especially as this is a wedding makeup, so I'm just putting the lipstick straight on and blending it out into the lip. This is a, a MAC Mineralized Blush. In what colour? In porcelain pink. Hello. Hello. How are you getting on? You look Good. gorgeous. Good. We're nearly Thank done. Thank you. I just want to put a tiny... Oh, I like the lighter colour inside the eyes. just lifts them. It's beautiful. Nice lip colour as well. Good. Yeah, it's nice, it's isn't it? I can't wait to see. <laughs> it's like, ooh. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> a great reveal. I've been having a lovely little chat with Ian about you. All oh, good dear. stuff. <laughs> All good stuff. It's very, very cute, you two. Oh, yes, Love it. we are. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm done. Wow, you look amazing. Really? Absolutely amazing fantastic. Wow. That has done a fantastic job on your hair. Really it tremendous. feels really heavy. <gasps> does it? It really does. But then it feels it's just like so different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. Really? So you're ready to take wait. a look? I, I don't want to keep no. you in suspense anyway. Come on then. You do I'll that, spin. Sam, I'll do this. There we go. Oh, wow. That is incredible. <laughs> Do you love it? Do you love it? Uh, no, I do. It's absolutely lovely. My hair is just like, there's just so yeah, much of it. Have hair like that before? No, <gasps> no. It's lovely. And the makeup, wow. That is so lovely. 
are really, really lovely. It's fantastic. Thanks, yeah. girls. Oh, yeah. It really is amazing. Well, why don't we find he out? will love it as well. Yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure he will. Ian, do you want to come in? Let's get you in the middle here. Wow. Between us both. <laughs> what do you think? Oh, wow, you look oh, you amazing. <laughs> wow, incredible. It's so different, isn't it? Wow. You look I'm going to end up crying again. No, they don't tell. No, they don't tell. No, they don't tell. fantastic. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's leaking. Oh, we can sort that out. Don't worry. Oh, incredible. Stunning. Thank you. Do you ever wear makeup like this at all? Um, not this heavy. No. Um, but. He would love me to wear a much a lot more makeup than Aww. I do. So um, as long as it's done nicely, yeah, it doesn't yeah, matter. You know, you yeah. can wear a lot as long as it looks yeah. like you've not got loads on. It's, no, nice. it's incredible. Incredible. Wow, stunning. Thank you. <laughs> really like the eyes. Eyes are just fantastic, and the hair. That's the, the thing. Your thing, though, isn't it? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you love. Yeah. He loves big eye makeup. Oh. He really does. Well, now you know how to do yeah. it, and it does look yeah. beautiful. Oh, I'm right. amazed with it. It's fab. Thank you so much, oh, girls. Oh, you're so and, welcome. And Matt. <laughs> yeah, my pleasure. Thank yeah. you so much for coming. Oh, it's really been brilliant. Really Absolutely model. brilliant. Thank you. So if you want to nominate somebody for Style Me Beautiful, all you have to do is email contact at dailymix.tv. If you've enjoyed this video, please like it, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>